Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be taking a look at what resting potential is, how it is established and maintained. The rest of this spec point we will probably do in the next couple of videos. So first of all, what is resting potential? Now resting potential is the potential difference across the membrane of a neuron and this is created and established by the movement of ions across this membrane. So in this next picture I'm going to show you, the membrane I'm showing you is this top part here where you've got the outside of the neuron and inside of that neuron. And the movement of ions across that particular part of the membrane, it will happen on the other side as well, but I'm just going to show you an image of this side. The movement of these ions across this particular membrane generates this resting potential and it's around about minus 70 millivolts. Um, so let's have a look at how that is established and maintained. So anything in a red box here is taken directly from the MART scheme. So you do need to be aware that this involves sodium and potassium. So here you can see the outside of the neuron. So this is outside the membrane and here we've got um, the membrane and then inside of the neuron. So in order to create that minus 70 millivolts across the membrane, what we've got here is three sodium ions move out of the membrane and two move in. Now this involves active transport, it uses ATP, it goes against the concentration gradient and it also uses this thing here called the sodium potassium pump which is specific in shape to sodium and potassium. However, the buildup of potassium here inside isn't always guaranteed, it isn't always strong. Um, and what happens here is um, some of the potassium actually leaks back out of the neuron along its electrochemical gradient. And this is because the membrane of the neuron is more permeable to potassium than it is to sodium. So I've got a buildup of sodium here on the outside. So I have an electrochemical gradient established here with the, the sodium outside. So I've got more outside than I have inside. And I've got more potassium inside than I have outside. But yes, some of that potassium does leak out. And it's really important to note here that the sodium voltage gate channels are closed at this point and also the potassium are closed as well. And you'll learn more about what their role is in action potential within the next video. So that's what we need to know about how resting potential is established and maintained. How this question is phrased here at the top is exactly how it will appear within the exam as well. And everything here in the red box is taken directly from the MART scheme, which is exactly what you need to know about how a resting potential is established and maintained. So we've gone through the red bit there. Um, I'll leave that for now. And in the next video, we'll look at how action potential is generated, including looking at a graph that you need to know for your exam. Guys, good luck with your studies.